Dear friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, the theme of today's liturgy is persecutions as occasions to spread good news nourished and fed by Jesus, the bread of life. We get inspiration from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 1 to 8, and also from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. The context of today's readings is the resurrection. The Lord, who was expected as the Messiah, who came in humility and became one with us, Though he was great, he became one with us. He was with us, speaking good news, doing good news, healing everyone. And he was so merciful, he came to spread the, the secrets of the Father, especially the abundant mercy, abundant love of the Father towards his children. That love which led him to the cross so that you and me can have life, so that he can win death and sin so that death and sin cannot crush him so he has finished this mission and he has resurrected death has no power and sin has no power and now we see that he has planted seeds of goodness in his apostles who are with him learning from him on how to live like him and to speak like him and so he has planted these seeds of goodness in the hearts of the apostles and all the disciples, followers of the Lord, the many people who are coming to be with the Lord so that they can share in that rhythm and that kind of works of spreading good news. Now, he has planted these seeds to them and these disciples and apostles are convinced that the only mission on earth as with our own lives is to spread good news. Your mission, my mission is to spread good news no matter what. Now, we see that persecutions started against the church in Jerusalem, attacking these apostles and the followers of Christ, the disciples. And we see that the apostles remained strong together in Jerusalem, encouraging each other and spreading good news in Jerusalem. And the disciples, the followers of Christ, those new converts, started spreading. They ran in different places, we hear, to Judea, to Samaria, and different places in, in order, of course, because of the severe persecution. And we see that the Jewish context, or the Jews of the time who were persecuting these Christians thought that everything now is finished. We have pressed these people, we are persecuting them, we are punishing them, and now the good news of Jesus Christ will disappear. They thought like that, forgetting that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christianity, the seed of the, great, the good news, that our persecutions can bring good news wherever we are. And so that's why the, the apostles who remained in Jerusalem spread good news there with their actions and with their words. Those who went to different places, they also, because of the persecution, they also spread good news wherever they were because of the good heart the, and the good lessons they have learned from Jesus Christ. What is the persecution around us? We as Christians, uh, followers of Christ, we are not exempted from these persecutions. We shall face crosses. We are already facing them uh, in our families, unfortunately, in the places of work, uh, in, within, around our society. There is a lot of suppression. People want to put us down, to suppress us, to persecute us, to kill us with their words, even with their actions. They want to keep our mouth shut. They don't want to hear good news. The only thing, unfortunately, some people want to hear is only bad news and chaos. And this is what you and me could go through. That when we face these moments of persecution, that is when we have occasions and opportunity to spread good news wherever we are, especially with our way of living, our good way of living, our respect, our patience, our peace, our serenity. Here in Jerusalem, 
The Christians generally are respected because we are people of peace. The Jews know us as people of peace. The Muslims here in Jerusalem also know us as people of peace. We do not revenge. You know? We do not engage in, in acts which are violent. We are people of peace. This is what can speak to every human heart. Am I a person of peace in my family, in my place of work, in, in my own life everywhere? Do people feel at ease and peaceful and harmonious with me? This is great good news that you are me spread when we are people of peace. So we see that the apostles are persecuted. They have killed Stephen and now the, the, the Jews of that time thought that they have suppressed and everything is finished. It's like the seed which is put in the ground. It looks like it is dead and crushed and good for nothing. But that is when it now springs up and bears more fruit. Sometimes in our moments when we feel down, crashed to the ground, and we feel like everything is ended and there is no way out, that is when the Lord Jesus Christ is working out everything to, for the good for us and also for our brothers and sisters. This is what we are invited to also reflect in our lives that we follow and we are able to spread good news everywhere, no matter the season, no matter the circumstance, as the disciples did. That the persecutions did not stop them from spreading good news. The difficulties in life did not stop them from spreading good news. We just need a bit of patience here. And so we see that now the disciples continue, wherever they are, and the apostles, to spread good news, to heal, to continue what Jesus did, to be close to the poor, to the brokenhearted, to heal, and also to free those who are in different forms of chains. Do I also heal those who are around me with my words and my actions? Am I close to the poor and those who are struggling in life? Do I easily give up when persecutions come? We remember that the apostles and the disciples did not give up. And even the matters of today, they did not give up. They knew that what conquers is love. And with love, we can go through every pain, every fire, as long as, and as long as it is out of love. And whatever we do becomes victorious. This is the good news. The good news is to continue spreading that love, that peace, that serenity, that joy, wherever we are. Not maybe with many words, but especially with actions. Because actions speak louder than words. Good actions conquer the heart of the other. And we hear today the Lord is reminding us that he's the bread of life. So much as we endure this persecution, these painful moments, we endure them with the Lord. We look at the Lord who nourishes our souls, who refreshes our souls, who encourages us with his word. Because his word is food for our soul. And Jesus himself says he is the bread of life. Whoever eats of this bread and drinks of this blood will have life without end. Whoever eats of Christ and drinks of Christ will never thirst, will have life in abundance. And this Gospel of John chapter 6 continues to say that it is the will of the Father that not even one of us is lost. And that is exactly why Jesus with his mercy and love and generosity of the Father, came to lift us, to reconcile us with the Father. We who had fallen because of our sins, he came to uplift us, to bridge us, to join us, to join us with the Father, so that we can share as children the beauty and the benefits of the Father. Just as the natural food, physical food, nourishes our body and we cannot live without this natural food which gives strength to us and to continue doing good. Also, and most especially, the spiritual food of the Word of God he nourishes our soul. And because of that Word, it is spirit and life. It nourishes our soul and gives us strength to face everything that comes in life. 
Do I really enjoy listening to the word of God and putting it in practice and spreading good news wherever I am? May the Lord bless you, dear friends, as we spread good news everywhere. And as we look at the persecutions as occasions to spread goodness. And that goodness will help us to be good people everywhere. Amen.